Yo, what is good, Jets Nation? Welcome back to Jets Media. This is Richie, and in this video, I want to talk about some veteran free agents that the New York Jets should consider bringing in. We saw yesterday the Jets bring in Billy Turner, a veteran offensive tackle who is familiar with Aaron Rodgers and Nathaniel Hackett. He was the starting right tackle during Aaron Rodgers' MVP season and back in 2021. Great friends of Aaron Rodgers as well. And the reason why I wanted to make this video is because we're entering the phase number two of free agents. After the NFL draft, there's a lot of veterans that were not able to find any home in the first wave of free agency, and there's still a lot of quality players available on the market that the New York Jets should definitely consider. Uh, the Jets were, you know, aggressive in previous years. They got Morgan Moses in the summer two years ago, and we all know how that panned out at that season. He plugged in a right tackle and was great. Last year, the Jets bring in Quan Alexander in the summer, and he played all 17 games. So the Jets definitely have a lot of options out there to fill in and plug some depth holes on this New York Jets roster. So I want to break down some of my favorite veteran free agents that the New York Jets should definitely consider bringing in, because this is a year where we're going all in for a playoff run. So the Jets got to make sure they acquire veteran depth, and I'm sure that they're going to do that and be aggressive. And another thing is we have Aaron Rodgers, which is a big plus because a lot of veterans are going to take – you know, a, a lesser contract to come win now with Aaron Rodgers on the Jets. We're becoming that team that's an attractable destination. So let's break it all down. Before I do so, comment down below your thoughts of any free agents that you guys want to see the New York Jets consider bringing in before the start of training camp. And also, guys, do me a gigantic favor by simply hitting that thumbs up button. Really helps out the channel a ton. And subscribe if you are new. Now, let's get into it. The first player is the most obvious one. The Jets fans have been pounding the table for the Jets to sign since free agency opened, and that's re-signing Quan Alexander. I think it's that simple. The Jets have a hold of um, weak side linebacker, and Quan Alexander fits that. I mean, he started all 17 games last year. He provided a big impact. He provided an energy. He was just that he played 49% of the snaps. We re-signed Quincy Williams. We have C.J. Mosley as the two starters. But Quan Alexander is really important for certain formations and certain looks that the New York Jets defense likes to plug in. I don't really see anybody on this roster that I feel comfortable being that guy to replace Quan Alexander. We drafted Zara Barnes. I don't think he's going to win that starting job. We have a lot of depth with guys like Jamie and Sherwood, Hamza Nazardine, Chaz Surratt. We brought in a bunch of undrafted free agents, but there's really nobody on this roster right now that I feel comfortable to replace Quan Alexander. So it's simple. Go bring in Quan. Even Jermaine Johnson on Twitter saying bring him back. The Jets players want him back. The fan base wants him back. And the Jets got to figure out a way to get Quan Alexander back in the building. That's priority number one. And that's the obvious one. You guys didn't know. You guys already knew that, right? So let's get into some other players. Now, another hole on this Jets team is the defensive tackle the interior defensive line, uh, especially when it comes to defending against the run. They did not go out there and draft any defensive tackle. So the first guy that comes to mind for me is Al Woods, defensive tackle from Seattle. We brought him in for a visit a month or two ago, and I think it just makes way too much sense for the Jets to bring him in. We like Quinn and Williams. Hopefully we extend him, and that's not a drama thing. But outside of him, we got um, you know Johnson, we got Solomon Thomas, Tanzel Smart. <clears throat> There's not a lot of depth at that interior defensive tackle position, especially from the perspective of the Jets trying to defend against the run. The pass rushing abilities on this Jets defensive line is pretty much stacked. Getting Will McDonald, adding to the mix of a Bryce Huff, who's a pass rushing specialist with Carl Lawson, Jermaine Johnson, Michael Clemens, John Franklin Myers. The edge rushers against the pass rush is great, but we need that guy that can be a bona fide stopping the run. Al Woods is definitely somebody to consider. Another guy who's actually also from Seattle who's a free agent is Pana Ford. He had three, uh, three sacks last year year at interior defensive tackle for Seattle. Another veteran that can plug in there and help against the run and get to the quarterback. And the Jets just need depth there. So I definitely consider uh, the Jets going out there and finding an interior defensive tackle to plug in the void uh, for the guys that we missed out on in free agency. Nathan Shepard's gone and Sheldon Rankin. So those are two guys that are not with the Jets anymore and they got to fill that void. Now another position I want to talk about is wide receiver. Now the Jets do not draft a wide receiver. And they bring in a bunch of undrafted free agents that I like, you know, Brownlee and those guys, Jenkins. But I really am curious if the Jets are going to consider bringing in a veteran wide receiver. And the first one that comes to mind is Randall Cobb, just from the whole perspective of Aaron Rodgers. And they have that connection. Are they going to bring in Randall Cobb? Now, I would not be jumping for joy. I'm not going to be popping bottles if we re if we get, go, bring in Randall Cobb. It's not like it's a long-term answer. It's not like a youth movement. It's more of a veteran win-now move to provide depth at the wide receiver spot. I like the Jets' depth at wide receiver, really. 
I like Garrett Wilson. I like Corey Davis with Alan Lazard and McCall Hardman. Denzel Mims competing for that fifth spot. I like it, but I do think that the Jets would be smart to consider bringing in a veteran wide receiver. I saw some people talk about Jarvis Landry because he's still available. I personally don't think that makes sense for the Jets bringing in Jarvis Landry, but you never know. Veteran, veteran wide receivers, if the Jets get banged up with injuries, you can't blame them to go out there and get one of these guys. Now, another position that I don't really think the Jets should consider, but I am seeing some Jets fans ask asking me about it. Should the Jets bring in these guys? So, Kareem Hunt, Ezekiel Elliott, and Leonard Fournette, all running backs are free agents right now. Now, I don't think the Jets should sign any of these guys. I don't think they need Kareem Hunt. I don't think they need Zeke. I don't think they need Leonard Fournette. But I'm bringing it up because I know that some people are asking me, hey, should the Jets consider bringing in a veteran running back? And I don't know. We brought in Izzy. We have Reese Hall. We have Michael Carter. We have Bam Knight. Those are four quality running backs. And not to mention, we got Travis Dye in undrafted free agency, who I actually like at a USC. So those are five quality young backs. I Maybe you want to bring in one of these guys for that veteran leadership, but I don't think they need it. They have the depth. You want to be young at that position. And I don't think they need to consider bringing a veteran running back, me personally. But let me know your thoughts if you agree or not. Now, the last position is the safeties. There are some safeties that are available. Adrian Amos, a free safety from uh, Green Bay, actually, not because of the Aaron Rodgers connection, but he is available. He had 102 tackles last year total, a pick in 2022. Um, he's 30 years old. He, he's a free safety. I know that the Jets, you know, we, we, we got some safeties in the free agency, uh, undrafted free agency market, but I do feel like the New York Jets could be adding another safety heading into training camp. The way that the depth chart looks right now, I kind of like it. Um, I don't love it, but I think they have some bodies to really compete for that starting job. Tony Adams, the undrafted free agent last year, I'm excited about. Bringing in Chuck Clark in the trade market. Jordan Whitehead still here. Will Parks, Ashton Davis. So it would be interesting to see if the Jets go out there and bring in a veteran to compete. Another guy to look out for is uh, John Johnson. He had 101 tackles and a pick last year, and he's 27 years old. So there are some safeties available on the veteran market for cheap if the Jets want to get another body for camp. Uh, so yeah, guys, that th that's really all the guys that I've brought up based on all the players that are available in the free agent market that are veterans that will be pretty cheap let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section guys of any players that i did not mention that you think the new york jets should definitely consider bringing in for a visit or bringing in to sign with this team because again this is a win now season for the jets so we got to get as many veterans to fill out this roster as possible the youth is all there we have a brand new draft class mixed with a whole undrafted free agency class combining with last year's draft class, and there's a lot of youth, and this it's really blended well with veterans, but I think the Jets can really take advantage of this veteran free agent market, similar to what they did with Billy Turner yesterday, getting him on a one-year deal up to $3.15 million. That was a great signing. So let me know your thoughts down below in the comment section, guys. I'll catch you guys next time, and let's go Jets. Peace.